I was the first one out of my giant group of friends to make the leap into doing my own thing. You know, five years later and I'm still out here, not dead yet. And now they're starting to be like, what do I do? And I'm like, here's all the pitfalls that I didn't know about because I didn't know anybody who did it. and I own and operate a digital marketing agency called Bowtie Social. We also run and operate an online education and community platform for salon owners specifically. If you were talking to somebody who's starting out themselves right now, what are some of the things that you would say to encourage them in taking those first steps? Again, what, what I kind of tell everyone that's asked me this question so far and what I wish I would have been able to tell myself was it's going to be a lot harder than you think it is unless you somehow strike gold by accident, right? That doesn't happen very often. It's going to be really hard. Keep your head up. Keep looking forward. Find opportunity because opportunity exists everywhere. It's just how you perceive that opportunity and how you can shift what you're seeing into opportunities or view them as opportunities, right? You have to be... You have to be pragmatic and having your eyes open for opportunities of improvement or change or even pivoting, like with what happened to me, right? right? I was like, okay, this is not going to work anymore. Rather than beating my head against the wall, let's see what other opportunities are there and how can we readapt this skill set that I have to produce something different and create value in a different way. And that saved my livelihood because it was one of those where I was like, okay, learn a lot and find those opportunities where they might be. The reason why I never quit, right, was that I was always looking for an opportunity to improve and we continue to do that. Learn as much as you can, as fast as you can, all the time. There's always something more to learn that you can then put into your business or something that you can be doing differently. And again, trying things is a, a function of learning. 90% of the time you're gonna be wrong. So be prepared to be wrong and being wrong hurts, but eventually you're going to get stuff right. And as long as you keep doing the stuff that you got right over and over again and finding new things that you're doing right, that win column is going to start growing. And at the end of the day, no one's really looking at all your losses. They're only looking at your wins.